Hi booktube and welcome back to my channel. I love to read. Um, as you see here, I just have two short book reviews. Um, okay, you hear my dog playing in the background. Um, Spookathon is over and I finished this book and I just finished this, well I finished this book in the right time, but I finished this book last night um, at work. so. Um, I thought I'd just go ahead and put this up real quick. And I, I'm going to do an unboxing, and I'm hoping that's the right one. Um, and then just, I bought so many books that I don't want to show them all because I'm getting tired of um, book hauls. I just, for me, I feel like I'm just bragging about the books I got. I don't know or like um, I don't know I just don't want to do it anymore I just feel like it. I think that's my problem I just feel like I'm bragging about my books or but I know it's not really that because we should be we're being helpful with each other telling each other what books are out there that you can buy and if you bought them like at Barnes & Noble where somebody else can get them because they're on sale or clearance or something um, or Goodwill or any thrift store, but I just feel convicted. Like I feel like I'm bragging. So instead of me showing all the books I bought, I'm just going to show for the last time, um, just a very short few of the ones that I'm really happy that I got. And then later on, as I do book reviews, then you'll know what books I have because then I'll be talking about them. So, and to me that won't be like bragging, it's like this is what I read and this is why I like it. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to get started. I don't know what it's doing. Yeah, come in here. Okay. Okay, thanks. So here we go, really quick. Edgar Allan Poe's, uh... The Raven and Other Tales, a uh, graphic novel, as I told you before, love Edgar Allan Poe. I have his books in different forms, so when I read the other ones, but people know who Edgar Allan, you guys know who Edgar Allan Poe is, I would think. But anyway, awesome book. The pictures, beautiful, as you can see. Um, yeah, what I did was... At least I've read, oh, this one is um, The Fall of the House of Usher. So, I won't say, but if you haven't read the book, then I, anyway. What I love about this are the pictures. And, I mean, I've seen different TV shows, movie TV adaptations, and I guess some of them were movies of his stories. and uh, But still, graphic novels are good because now you see how the artist interprets some of the story and uh, it's good and also it, it kind of helped me understand uh, the mask of red death wait I can never get that title yes the mask of red death um, because when I watched it with uh, Vince Vincent Price what's wrong with me when I watched with Vincent Price on it I find him to be a great actor and he was some people thought of him as a a B actor, but that's because he made some bad choices, I think. But he was good. He did Shakespeare and stuff. But you have to look him up, Google. But Vincent Price, when he did that, every time I watched it, I kind of never understood it too much. I think maybe because the director took some artistic liberty with the story. I don't know. But anyway, I love it and really good. Really, the stories are just good, and and some of them I acted out on my own as I read it, but can't go wrong with this book. In a Dark, Dark Wood. I know everybody's heard about it by Ruth Ware. I loved this book. Um, it's plot and character driven, and this is what suspense is. Psychological suspense, psychological suspense thriller. God Almighty, what's wrong with me? <laughs> anyway, this is what this really, this is the right book. 
This is the right way to tell a story, to have you on the edge of your seat, to have you want to keep going and flip the pages. I took a little bit of time reading this because it's not long, only because I just wanted to savor the moment. And they said it's going to be a movie, and, and I'm looking for the movie, but it's not out yet. So, uh, Reese Witherspoon, you need to hurry up and get started on this book. Get the movie out, please. Um, I loved it. The ending, I have to say... I've given this I've given this book four maybe four point five but right now four out of five stars because the ending um, that's all I'm gonna say but I'm sure people read them but I I don't I needed I needed to close for me that's all I'll say um, but anyway it's it's suspenseful this book I never could get who the killer was and that's I love that type of book because I didn't guess it in the first two three chapters I didn't get it right and towards the end I was thinking maybe and I thought well no and so no I really didn't guess it until I thought huh and then even there was a part in the book where uh, you don't know why uh, Nora is uh, upset over her breakup. You never know who it is, why the reason is. And I never, the life of me thought, I was thinking something else. I never thought that's what it was. Anyway, I don't want to stay long into it. And um, it's a good book. So if you haven't read it, read it. In a Dark, Dark Wood by Ruth Ware. Read the book. Okay, so now I'm going to... Just quickly, briefly show you because it's six minutes, 57 seconds. Real quick, what I got. Of course, everybody knows Gemina. I didn't pay a lot for it because I had coupons and it was on. Was it on sale? No, I just had a really good coupon then. Yeah, so Gemina. So now I can read Illuminate. Gemina. And if it's. Yeah, I like this. All right. The words of Martin Luther King Jr. I got that for two dollars actually. Red dot, Barnes and Noble, Gemino's Barnes and Noble too. Um, and so I read. You know, there's pictures I haven't seen, but anyway, I read it and it's um really good. Um, stop for a minute. Okay, I didn't want you to see. I was debating on whether I should tell this because I forgot. But really quick, in this book, when I was reading it at work, um, there was a part in here that was really, really funny. And they were, it's not a spoiler, they're doing a seance. And <laughs> I was cracking up because the character Flo was getting upset that they kept playing these games. And the other one, the other game they played, which is on page 150, um, doing the seance again with the made up Ouija board and I won't read it to you but uh, it was just so funny it had me cracking up so this book also has some pretty nice humor in it all right so going back again to the words of Martin Luther King Jr. Um, there was a story in there that also made me decide to get the book which is he was telling the story of his father had um, didn't completely stop at a stop sign and he, um, a white cop pulled him over and he said, listen, boy, give me your papers. I don't know if he said license, whatever. I don't know if they had license back then. But anyway, he told him to give him his credentials to be able to drive. And his father looked at him and said to him, I'm a man. This is a boy and pointed to his, to him. And he says, and until you address me, um, as otherwise, I won't be talking to you. And he said the cop just got so like shocked and flustered, like, oh my gosh, that the cop said nothing else to him. He just gave him the, you know, the ticket, whatever, and then left. And I'm like, wow, you know, even back then, because, you know, if this type of skin disrespected back then, you know, be down. I'm like, no. Okay, 
So here we go. I got that. All right. Herman Walk the Lawgiver. This book, $2 as well. And it reminds me of Illumine and uh, Gemini and another book that I got. I love these type of books. It's on deckled edge paper and it's like letters in it. So I don't always time telling you what it is when I read it um, when I, and then I'll review it. Stephen King's Song of Susanna, $2. So I don't know if my, my mother has all the books, but I want my own. So $2. Barnes and Nobles again. A Full Life, Jimmy Carter. I didn't get this for $2, but I always thought he was one of the good presidents. I thought so. And it's, he's so humble. Very humble man. And it just talks about, he's 90 years old and just talks about what he learned as being president and um, just about his life and uh, his time. So, here's a picture of him. Hopefully you got it. Okay. It's going a little too long. Let me stop. Now, this I am bragging. I'm so sorry. But I was a good will. A lot of books. And I've been seeing this book at other Goodwill stores. But, um... This time I'm like, what is this book about again? I guess I'll go ahead and get it. So, Jodie Picoult, Leaving Time. And it's about a girl looking for her mother, teenage girl. But, um, I'll tell you later. But that's not what I, what I want to tell you. What? It's autographed. Yes. And you know what? It's not a fake autograph. I thought maybe it was. It's not. Because it bled right through. Can you see? I think you can. So, yes. The book is in Immaculate. Um, condition. Oh, look. So pretty. I don't know if you can. There we go. Okay, so. I'm like, what? Why would you do that? I mean, look, even the cover hasn't been disturbed. It's just, wow. But, hey, somebody's lost my game. So, yeah, that's my break. Oh, okay, so here we go. My unboxing, getting it done, from Barnes & Noble. What did I order from Barnes & Noble? I can't remember. I'm sorry, this has gone longer than I wanted it to. And I'm not going to redo this video, so. What did I get? <gasps> Edgar Allan Poe, Tales of Mystery and Imagination. I totally forgot, and you know what? Okay, it's another brag. I'm so sorry, but I got this for $2. $2, and it's leather. Uh, actually, I got it for $1.80 because I'm a member. They don't even make this edition. Wow, this is beautiful. I wish you could see it. Let me move. There we go. That's a face. And, oh, it's beautiful, the cover. Nice too. You see? Yeah, that's nice too. And because you know, I want wow. This is awesome. And gold pages. Can you there you go? See it? I bought my mother this one and then I realized I should have bought it. Oh, this is so excellent. Okay. So all right, so thank you very much, and we're going to end it on this, because I want this thumbnail too. So thank you guys very much for um, watching, and okay, have a blessed day, and enjoy your day, and um, God bless. Peace.